the sonar side scan view and mosaicing. This movie shows how to use the Teledyne PDS sonar side scan view and to mosaic the side scan sonar data. For this demo project we use a toad side scan sonar. The main features for the side scan sonar view includes, besides the standard PDS features, quick selection of data channels and visualization control of the data, possibility to select for different range modes, a workflow is included in the painter configure, the backscatter logging parameters, mosaicing of the side scan sonar data, includes a bottom detection algorithm, includes a side scan sonar data normalization algorithm. The sonar side scan view consists of a left pane to configure parameters, a waterfall pane displaying the data of the selected data source. The waterfall display has a toolbar to set quickly settings. In the side scan sonar properties pane we can select the sonar data source, visualization parameters of the show data. The range mode is selected. All the side scan sonar devices added to the vessel configuration are listed. The selected data source is shown in the waterfall. Select device data to show the raw data from the side scan sonar in the view. Select side scan sonar computation. Now the normalized side scan sonar data is shown. PDS includes a normalization algorithm and a bottom detection algorithm. The bottom detection is used for the slant range correction and the normalization algorithm. We will discuss this later in the movie. Select from the color palette drop down list the color palette to use. The brightness and contrast of the data in the view can be adjusted. Disable the auto scaling mode to change the brightness and contrast manually by pressing the buttons. PDS automatically adjusts the brightness and contrast if the auto scaling is turned on. The sensitivity of the auto contrast and brightness control can be set to low, normal or high in the pane. It is possible to select different range modes. Follow range, fixed value, and automatic range. In range mode, automatic, the view will show the previous range if the range is changed. In this example we will demonstrate this mode. We see data shown in the view with a certain range. A new range is set in the side scan sonar. The range of the view is changed automatically. And if the range changes again, then the range of the view is also automatically adjusted again. But the previous ranges are still shown. In range mode, fixed value, the range of the view is as set in the fixed range value box. In mode, follow range, the range follows the range as set in the side scan sonar. In this example 70 meter. Backscatter logging and mosaicing. We will now demonstrate how to mosaic the backscatter sonar data. Open the backscatter logging page. The backscatter logging is used for the mosaicing. A workflow is followed by defining the settings from the top to the bottom of the page. Select the Enable Logging checkbox. Press the New button to create a new backscatter grid model. Enter a name and press the Save button. Define the cell size and select the data items to log. Log the first, last, Minimum and maximum backscatter level if the area is multiple times covered by the side scan sonar. 
In the created backscatter grid model it is possible to show the data item. Next step is to select the data source for the backscatter logging. Press the Add button. Select the data source to log. By selecting Device Data, the raw data of the side scan sonar is used for the backscatter grid model logging and mosaicing. By selecting Side scan sonar computation, the normalized data is used for the backscatter grid model logging and mosaicing. Normalized data is only available if the bottom is tracked. In this example we select the device data. When the interpolate backscatter grid model check box is selected, the mosaicing backscatter grid model is linear interpolated. On this way gaps in the mosaicing are filled. Press the logging button to start the data logging and the mosaicing. The indicator is green if turned on. The mosaicing in real time starts. The mosaic is interpolated. Adjust in real time your color table from the pane. Several options are available. Each time the Generate button is pressed, the colors of the Mosaic Backscatter Grid model are updated with respect to the last received intensities in the sonar view. It is possible to show gray or rust colors. Select the Reinverse checkbox to inverse the colors. The user can generate a color table based on the intensities of a certain area or object. Right click in the view and select Draw a Polygon to draw a polygon around the area or object. Save the polygon. Select the created polygon. And press the Generate button to generate the color table. The colors of the mosaic are now based on the intensities of the selected polygon. By using the object enhancement feature, it is possible to color detections of a certain intensity level. By doing this, the user can make features based on a selected intensity more visible. Select the color. And set the intensity level percentages by moving the slider. So if we, for example, like to visualize shadows more clear in the mosaic, we turn on the object enhancement. We set the level of intensities to be colored black. And press the generate button. All intensities lower as the set level are now colored black. In our case are the shadows now more clear visualized the same you do if you like to see detections more clear with a certain intensity. But in that case, you move the right slider to specify the intensity you like to color red. Bottom detection. In this example we have added two side scan sonar views to show the high frequency and low frequency channel simultaneously. By adding two views, it is possible to specify for each channel a Unique bottom detection mode. Open the bottom detection page on the view. There are three bottom detection modes. Select Use Altitude from Sonar to use an altitude measured by the Sonar Altitude Sensor or, if applicable, from the Sonar bottom detection algorithm. Teledyne PDS retrieves automatically the altitude from the Sonar. Select Use Manual Altitude to set the altitude manually. Select Use Altitude from Bottom Detection Algorithm to use the integrated PDS Bottom Detection Algorithm. In this mode the user can set a blanking distance. Every value lower as the blanking distance is ignored as bottom detection. Furthermore the user can set an adaptive blanking percentage in this mode. In the other view we can set the bottom detection for the other channel. If you use the manual attitude mode, the bottom detection is at the set value. Now at 2 meter. If you change the manual value, the bottom detection changes accordingly. Data lower as the set bottom detection is removed and not shown.
as you can see, is the bottom better tracked when using the PDS bottom detection algorithm. Blanking settings can be adjusted to improve the bottom tracking. By adjusting the blanking, can disturbance in the water column ignored. Select the checkboxes to show the blanking and bottom detection lines. Remember the bottom detection is used for the slant range correction, but also for the normalization algorithm. When there is no bottom detection then it is not possible to compute the normalized data. In this example is the side scan so now not equipped with an Altia 2 device. This means when we select this option then there is no bottom detection and also no normalized data. The device data is always shown.